Hey guys, it's Futon here. Uh, today we're bringing you Beginner's Guides to Iraq's for Melee. This guide is going to be for Path Combination 1-2 going on the top path. Note, this is going to be for beginners, so if you know anything about this boss, this probably isn't going to be much helpful for you. But um, we're going to be separating each Path Combination out into a separate video and maybe releasing them one at a time. So for starts for this video, we're going to go ahead and reveal what I feel is good gear requirements. Now, this is almost to the top of the line. You could switch this out with Malevolent, but whatever. Um, let's just go over this. Um, I have have a scythe for the main weapon, as the scythe gives you one extra distance and allows you to basically pray range the entire time if you understand what the distance is and is, which I will explain during the kill. Besides that, Amulet of Souls and everything, I'm assuming you're only doing low and rage, so something like Reaper wouldn't really help you if you're on Aura. And Vampirism Scrimshaw is for healing with melee. You could also switch this out for a Grimoire if you want to go for full damage, but if you're a beginner, you're most likely not going to use a Grimoire, and it's very expensive to use, so it's like 5 mil an hour or something crazy. Um, for this also example, you can go with a Nahil, but I have... For the sake of this being a beginner's guide, I'm going with a yak. I probably personally in the kill would not use it. Um, the next is Overload Salve. This can, um, for the anti-poison, adrenaline, flask, uh, ZGS. ZGS is completely optional for this boss. I normally like the ZGS better because I don't risk the double damage from Zerk at the end and you'll see why. But you could basically go ahead and switch out the ZGS for, um... Just Zerk instead of ZGS, technically in the video if you don't own a ZGS. Uh, the Whip in the Excalibur is a bladed die switch. The Whip has play, um, Aftershock 1 on it. The Excalibur is not augmented. Um, then, of course, 4 or so brews. You don't really need much more unless you're camping, like, higher in rage. Uh, Luck of the Doors is for the end of the kill for the switch before looting the chest. The Adrenaline Urn. I will show you its use in the, in the P4. It's actually quite nice for... Um, once you are able to skip the cutscene for a Raxor. Um, as a note for perks. Um, my gear just basically has a basic setup. Aftershocks, all that. Um, my legs do have Venom Blood Biting 2 on them. So, uh, yeah, Venom Blood Biting 2 and Crackling 3 Mobile on them. So, that's about the only thing difference from a standard perk setup. It is nothing really that important. I do suggest you give Venom Blood in some way, shape, and form if you do not have salves. I originally made this when I didn't have salves. So I was like, oh, I might as well get this up to level 20 because why not? It buffs biting. So. But anyway, with all this aside, we're going to go ahead and start a kill. Alright guys, um, let's go ahead and start this kill now. Um, we're going to go ahead with the first. I already did a kill. So this is going to be a 20% in range, but the first thing we need to note about P1 is specs. Oh, and I should turn that off. Oh, well. So, on P1 with specs, um, Araxor has three different types of specs, and you want to choose your path here. So we're going to go with top path for the sake of this video. Um, for the specs, it could be random which one you get first, and it could be very random when you get the first spec. Alright, so our first spec was web. You want to always anticipate before each spec, because generally it blocks the spec. And that's pretty much all there is to it, except for the webbing, for the shield. So that's shield, so that causes reflect on you, but no. Um, on path, on phase one, it can never repeat a spec, so it can never like web shield twice in a row, for example. But for here, the goal is to hit the web, and then just DPS down as much as you can within the one minute. Then here goes a cleave. Like I said, it's easy enough. In melee, the cleave isn't that big of a deal because it will not drag you. MD. So you can just wait there. And then once this is done and you get it down, I would say for beginners, down to 5k, we want to go ahead, wait to specs, go up here, and then come straight back. Um, this is because we're going to be doing minions. Now, note with this, uh, you can skip minions if you really want, but we're just going to kill them for the sake. Now, they be very careful. Minions now are spawned as a special within this rotation. So, with that as a note, okay, and then we get the new bomb spec as well. 
So, but it can never repeat a spec twice in a row. Just to make sure. And tr always try with melee with this um, scythe to stand two squares away from a Raxor. At all times. Okay, so you saw that webbing there. That means we're going to get a spider. Now, what you got to be careful of, you got to find this one. The mirror back. While this mirror back is alive, it reflects all damage from a Raxor back onto you. So be extremely careful when doing any attacks into this spec because you can instantly KO yourself. And then with a the web bomb, this thing deals you a 3,000 damage if you don't hit no spiders. So you can see here I'm in B. A Raxor can actually melee me here. It's not likely to do it, but it will do it. Alright, so now we got another set of spiders. And there will be three sets with special spiders. Okay, so we got a pulsing. That one just heals a Raxor, so... That one's not that big of a deal. It won't, like, KO you if you just start walking into a pile of spiders and quaking or cleaving. All oh, right, and I don't have my scrim on. I want to explain why I'm using food. Okay, as you see, the 3,000 damage. And then it'll spawn additional minions. I think I can just wait for these guys to... And then just... That quickly. Got lucky. I could have killed myself there. Alright. And boom. And also for that bomb blast, these uh spider minions can replace it. So if you're like see here a pile of spider minions, because there's a fourth spider here, I'm not actually gonna take much damage. Unfortunately there's only three eggs. So how many minions we have left? Okay. And the last set of minions you can completely ignore it if you so choose. Um, because they're not going to spawn any special spiders, but that's just, you have to tank them later, so it's, you take your pick, what do you want? And generally, I always try to do an AoE with these spiders, especially if I know there's no way they can kill me. Alright, so after this, we're going to switch to a bladed dive, and we're going to go. At this point... Alright. I'm gonna slow. Alright. So at this point, I've been out of combat for a while. And we're going to enjoy that Araxor. You did your special. Because that was mutated bards, if anyone's wondering. That allows me, if I'm out of combat for so long, to barge back into an ability. And now this one, it adds another special because of um, the middle path is open. It's called a Suicide Spider. You'll see it give like a damage flat to the ground. And then it'll spawn a spider. That spider can hit you for a 32k. And I love how that has wasted my um, mutated barge. Alright, shouldn't have done that. Alright, at this point you want to activate your Adrenaline Urn. Because of what you're going to see happen with this. Because we have the Adrenaline Urn active, we're going to let ourselves fall out of combat for a second. When we fall out of combat with an Adrenaline Urn active, it basically lets us go ahead and just heal, or whatever. Free of charge, no Adrenaline use. And then you just basically go straight back into an ability to restore it. Alright, now we're going to swap to a ZGS. Swap back. No, don't be dumb. Not good. Mm, I am feeling horrible right this second. Either way, specs are over at 50k. But that's the point of reason why you use EGS right off the get-go, is because it gets rid of all the specs. It will stop specking you after that point. I unfortunately pressed the wrong ability. Just cleave it down. Good, clean. Alright, and then turn off the adrenaline iron. But that's basically the gist of a, a Rax for kill. It's nothing really that difficult with melee. It's just you gotta learn the distance for being between the targets. And then of course we're just going to say no pet. Gonna get nothing. Get nothing. Yes.
Yes, absolutely nothing. So, but that's um for doing melee. Um, with bottom path on one two. Hopefully this guide was informative and have a wonderful day. Note, I was just reviewing the video and didn't want to clip the entire thing. But that is how you do top path with one two. I am so stupid.